Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Malachi SDR receiver. Now you may ask yourself what's so special about this particular SDR receiver. Well, as you can see in this video, the Malachi has an inbuilt 3.5 inch color touchscreen. Now I ordered this from Banggood.com and at the time of ordering there wasn't a version with a case available. So mine came as you see it here without a case. Luckily though, a case version is now available, which I've also have on order. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you this version. Now this version of the Malachi SDR receiver covers from 50 kilohertz all the way up to 200 megahertz, and that's all mode. It's powered by the USB-C connection and has two rotary controls and a 3.5 millimeter audio output socket. Now the audio output from this socket is plenty powerful enough to drive a pair of headphones. Now on the rear of the board, there are a couple of Molex style connectors, one of which is labeled as internal battery. So this makes it nice and easy if you'd like to fit an internal battery from when using portable. Now changing the frequency is quite easy just by turning the lower rotary encoder. But to change frequency steps, you have to tap on the screen to the top left of the frequency. Now I find this a little bit fiddly and sometimes ended up tapping something else. Now I'm led to believe that this is because the firmware version installed on this particular device is actually the demo test firmware. On the official activated firmware, you just press the encoder to change steps. Now I'll confirm this in another video when I go through the fully activated firmware. Now one of the nice things about this receiver is the DSP capabilities. The noise reduction seems to work extremely well. Now the reason for this is most likely due to the fact that this SDR receiver is using a chipset that is found in a very popular and more expensive SDR receiver, naming no names. Now just to be clear and transparent, this SDR receiver is a Chinese clone running the test demo firmware. However, the test firmware does give you most of the functionality and you are able to receive as shown in this video. There are some features, rather nice features, which are not enabled in this test firmware, such as when connected to a Windows computer, you will be able to control the Mala Kite via cat commands and also bring out the direct audio and IQ stream via the inbuilt sound card. This is all just through a standard single USB cable. And once I get it activated, I'll cover all these features more detailed. Now this currently retails at around $65, which in my opinion is actually really cheap for an SDR receiver with a built-in color touchscreen. Love or hate Chinese clones, this works extremely well for the price. So let's take a listen to some of the bands. Thank you very much for the call. Bye-bye. 
So there we go, a short overview of the Malachi SDR receiver with color touchscreen. Now, when I receive either the activation code for the firmware or the next version with a case, I'll create a more detailed video going through each of the menu screens. Now, I think going through the menu screens now on this demo test firmware would not be that beneficial because it is going to change. But if you do have any questions on this particular model, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you want to purchase this particular one, I'll leave a link down in the description below of where you can purchase this from. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and I'll see you in the next video.